On today's episode of Montana Mystery Man, we will be covering the hunting of the Wendigo, along with my special face reveal. Let's begin. For some of you who have might not watched my first episode, I basically explain what I've been seeing. And what I've been seeing is a Wendigo. For those of you who don't know what a Wendigo is, it comes from Native American folklore. It is a human that has been deranged and has ate another human's flesh, and they transform into a wicked monster. And I believe one of them is lurking in these hairy woods. We will be diving into this. Hello and welcome to season one, episode one of the mystery hunting. Let's begin. I know it's a shock to you that that's what I look like. Sorry I was made this way. Um, you know, I thought it would thought be known. You guys did hit the goal. Thought it would be known what I look like so you guys can follow me on my adventures. Tonight's going to be a scary one. Um, as I said in the previous video, this Wendigo has been haunting me. It's been taunting me, honestly. Almost like I'm his food and he's just playing with me. You know, I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of it, and I think it's time we put an end to it. And I'm gonna catch him on video. Or her, I don't really know. But um, I'm gonna catch this on video to prove to the world that these mysteries are true. Let's dive right into it. Hey guys, we're now in my garage. We're, I'm gonna show you the gear I'm rocking tonight. I just wanna let you know that I'm putting myself at risk. And I truly believe there is something out there. I think it's something more than what's in my dreams. I'm really scared, man, but you know, I'm here to make that sacrifice. Let's get to it. So what we got going on here is of course my backpack with all of my necessities, snacks, whatnot. All I need for this journey. Right down here, my trusty flashlight. Good buddy back home gave me this. Look at that, man. Whew. Don't wanna waste too much battery on it right now. But uh, you might be wondering, Montana Mystery Man, cute boots. What's with the flowers, man? Hey, just you wait. I'll get back to that. No, the helmet, a little distracting, I know. But you can never be too safe. You don't want to be running from the wind to go. You trip on a rock, boom, smack your head on an aspen tree, done. Not tonight. They might be saying, what's in this mystery pack? <laughs> Let's find out. Well, some of you might be saying, Montana Mystery Man, why did that bag just turn into a pile of grass? That's where you're wrong. When you see a leopard, out in nature, hunting its prey. What do you notice? I'll give you a quick uh, two seconds. Bingo, camouflage. This one has been hunting me, and I think it's time I become the hunter. And a hunter needs its camouflage. This is where I relate back to the boots. Flowers, oh uh, yeah, a little girly. But you know what's on the bottom of every undergrowth forest? Flowers. One to go won't see my feet coming, won't see my body. I think we're all set. I think it's time we get changed. I think it's go time. And you might be looking at me like, Montana Mystery Man, you're looking like a goon right now. But trust me, if I was that one to go out in the woods, you see a little bit of this coming at you, it's game over. I think it's time we head on out. As I head off onto my journey, I feel many emotions, but there's one emotion I don't feel, and that's fear. I walk many miles into the woods, making sure I'm the only human within a 50 mile radius. As I walk, the tone starts to get set. All right guys, I'm in a location where the nearest human is at least 50 miles away. Hey guys, just walking out here. A little dark, 
not gonna lie, getting in my spooks a little bit. But as you can tell, I think it's time to give you guys a rundown. This is the location. I've been spotting the wind gale in my visions. I'm gonna set camp down right here, pitch up my tarp, call it a night. See if I see if I hear anything through the night. I'll let you guys let you guys update it. Decided to move a couple steps forward and take my bedding right underneath this tree. Looks like a pretty warm, welcoming home. If the windigo tries messing with me, I can always use my agility and speed to climb up this tree to get the high ground. But I think it's time we rest. All right, so step one is what you're gonna wanna do when setting up camp. So of course, take your pack off. And never forget to, never let your guard down. I think my bedding area is going to be somewhere in here. I don't really know. I'm kind of a soft sleeper, so any noise I hear, I'll wake up to. But I have northeast wind moving right now. And uh, this could be a good night, I'm telling you right now. But uh, I'm going to try and get some sleep, let you guys know what happens through the night. It is currently. 3.45 a.m. I just woke up to my first Wendigo noise. It was a loud screech coming from a southbound. This is real, guys. This is our real first case. I'll do some reporting on it right now. I'm gonna get up from my bed. Took about a hour and a half nap. It's getting real, guys. Okay, guys, this just ended. I just found my first signs of Wendigo scat. I'm gonna keep following the trail. This is getting real, guys. This is getting real, real. Man, I can tell. This is gonna be a breakthrough episode. I can already tell. One thing to always remember when you're out in the woods, most importantly, stay bear aware. As I say, if it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. Oh my God. Tell me you guys just heard that. Tell me you heard that. This is real, guys, this is real. Just ran about 12.5 miles. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I heard a call of a Wendigo. Man. I gotta say it right now, man. This is one of the most realist experience I've ever had. We gotta catch that. I'm done, one to go. I'm done with you haunting. Had enough, man. Come out. Man, let's get the nerves going. Let's really get the nerves going. Fear really doesn't, fear really doesn't bother me but right now, man. I think I might crack. But as I say, pressure makes diamonds. I think I'm, I think I'm definitely testing the limits tonight. This is, this is not good, man. It was at this point in time in which my camera actually died. And I'd like to apologize right now. Rookie mistake, first video I know, but you guys saw the proof in the pudding, man as I'll state clearly in this next clip. Look guys, the proof is in the pudding, man. You heard the screeches, you, video don't lie, man. I had to return back to base, water supply was low, but this does not mean the end of the Wendigo hunt. This is only just the beginning. But as for this episode, I gotta wrap it up. I don't even know if I can sleep at night, man. I will find this one to go and catch him on camera. I solemnly swear as Montana Mystery Man that I will catch this one to go. Mystery Man, out. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video and supporting the channel. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single mystery. Shout out Nabar again, and I will see you all next.